I have another list. This was a two week job that has turned into a two month job because, you know, happy DIY. so many bits and bobs to finish this tiny guest house. I've divided everything up in three sections. The first being this week, the second being the week after, <laughs> and then I move in. We have excitement. Do we have excitement? This move in is, is gonna happen. So this week will largely be spent on finishing a joinery, painting, and also a fun DIY job is that I want to make my own tower rail from a tree. I'm gonna wait for a sunny day to do that. I think right now I am going to start with this, this bit of timber, which is the shelf for the water. update. I'm painting the trims now. But also my feet are freezing. I might have to stop soon and get warm. This is looking pretty good. It's like the more layers you add to it, the less yellow it looks because it's quite nice down here as well. It's a lot more muted. Let's see how I'm doing with my list. Paint all trims. I might add another layer to it. My shelf for the water decanter. I actually did that. I stained it. The only thing I don't have is the brackets to actually put it up. I hope the brackets work because obviously the water is really heavy. Otherwise I'm going to have to kind of make more of like a built-in joinery unit from that little corner piece. But I'm hoping brackets will be okay. I don't have them yet so I am going to have to wait to do that. But that's a simple job so I guess I can tick this. So today I'm going to look at adding a top shelf. I will have to explain this better. It's sunny outside, so maybe I'll make my towel rail. The plan is to add a shelf to the top. I have this electrical cable. It goes towards a socket and then it goes through the wall to suck it on the other side. I was thinking of just adding a shelf shelf so I can use it for storage as well, but it's, I don't have enough timber to do that. So I'm just going to kind of use this, which I do have, which is the same thickness of the wall. And then, well, put it across and I, I can't show you because it's too long. <laughs> I do have these awful nails that I need to get rid of. I shut down the electricity because all of this is exposed and I think that means I need to get my huge battery bank in here so I can use power tools. <laughs> Okay, I brought my tool out and everything and now I realise it's unnecessary because I can just hammer them back down. <laughs> but that makes me very happy because this is not 
my favorite tool. Oh, it's stuck. Don't be stuck now. I just did this and I'm just going to have to um, make a hole at the bottom of the, the timber so I can put it on top. many elements in the way. Yeah. See? I mean, I think that's a pretty good solution so I can hide the electrical cable on top and it doesn't look too Messy. I'm going to do the saddest thing you could possibly do with timber. Paint. I'm going to paint this shelf so that visually it looks like a little archway. Not an archway. A doorway. An architrave. Yeah. Such a different colour in the light. It's very mushroomy here. Okay, let's leave this to dry for now and we're going to look at doing something fun. So I was looking at getting a tower rail to put underneath this little shelf and I just couldn't justify spending the money. So I thought actually this is the perfect opportunity to use a tree. So I am going to use, I'm going to use a tree. Yeah, I think that'll be fun. Let's see what we can find. This tree fell over a while ago in a storm. And I still need to clear it. But it has some really nice branches. Thank you. 
So what I wanted to do was sit on this tree and figure out how I'm going to smoothen this one. I'm not quite sure which tools to use. I did just realize why it suddenly got so cold and it's because it might snow again today. Honestly, I'm really not quite sure what to do with this. This tree has a lot of tiny branches coming out of it. And it's also very much still alive. So I think I'm just gonna sand it with a little machine. See if I can kind of make it less rough. I really like the white, but that will probably disappear. I have no idea. Maybe this isn't the right tree to do this with, but... I'm just gonna try it. it. Doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's cute. We're going for cute. So. This is looking crazy. I do like this end, but the wood is very fresh, so I think it's best if I use this side. It's quite nice and clean. You know what? I think adding branches to interiors might be my new favourite thing. These colours are crazy, by the way. Now I just need to figure out how I'm going to attach it. I also have this, which I could do something with. I don't know. Uh, a mini towel rail. Unfortunately, the sun disappeared and now it's got really cold outside. <laughs> and I wanted to make my towel real. All right, I just did another layer of paint and it seems that this is also ready. And outside, something else is happening. It's snowing.
think I've mostly figured out what I'm going to do with this one. I'm just going to attach it on the sides to the wall and the little sink unit. So I was thinking I'm just going to try and use a little dowel and a large, I don't know what you use these the screw type things, these screw type things to <laughs> attach it. It will be a little bit loose, but I think that's fine. I'm just going to use it for like towels and stuff. I could hang something off here now. This isn't something to hang, but example.
Okay, we're going to tick off some of these boxes. I'm going to say that I painted all the trims. I might give them one last layer just before I move in, but I'm gonna say that this is done. They all have been painted two or three times. Oh wow, the ground is actually kind of dry here. <sighs> this is what happened. Snow was melting, then it started snowing again, and it was snowing for an evening or a day and the next morning sort of immediately after that it started getting warmer again so the snow that came has melted but it does mean that everything is very wet and I keep going out for walks in the snow and I keep ending up with my shoes being really wet which is why right now I'm wearing shoes that I wouldn't normally <laughs> wear but they will do and also I got something exciting. I actually got a package in my post box, which hardly ever happens. It always goes to a pickup point. And they are these brackets. So I can actually put up the water shelf. This is the decanter that I want to use. I am very worried about these being able to carry the weight of this decanter with water in it. I'm gonna do that first. Oh no, I get to take something off my of my my list first that's that's good here we go towel rail is done oh i almost forgot that i added a shelf to the top of the interior walls done so the question is where do we want this the sink is going to be in here I would do it lower, but I can't because these actually take up too much space. going to continue staining this framework up here. Yeah, I finished sanding these two yesterday and cleaned it. So now I'm just going to give it a little layer of stain until, well, until I run out of stain really. Um, I don't have that much left, so we'll see how far we get. I stained until I could stain no more. All this framework plus 
this down here which honestly looks horrible this stain really doesn't work on this stain bro it's okay i can always paint it so that means what i have left is close gap in floor I really wish I hadn't put that on this week's list. <laughs> this is the gap I need to close. I've got this timber in the attic. 50 mil. Maybe not the ideal tool, but I'm just going to use this. Hopefully I can get somewhat of a straight line. So the last thing to do is to put in this. Put some of this foam and let's see if this clicks into place. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that actually worked. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's better than, than what was there before. Oh goodness. I absolutely thought that I was going to have to like nail it shut. <laughs> oh, so I have a floor. That is amazing. I might actually cock along this this groove here this opening so it just looks a little bit neater i really hate this floor it is pretty much the cheapest of the cheapest floor you can get it's not really worth the expense right now but so i'm thinking about getting like a rug or a few rugs in here but this is good i'm very happy that this worked last thing to take off is close the gap in the floor and do it I think that's it for this week. I am really looking forward to finishing the ceiling. The weather is warming up. I am going to be able to pick up more building materials to finish the ceiling, which will just make all the difference. And I have a sink that I can pick up. Everything is coming together. Yeah, we are not that far from me actually moving in here and starting work on the main house, which is very exciting. So I'm looking forward to finishing everything off and living in here. That will be so weird. <laughs> that will be really weird.